From the beginning, MTN News and Sports has been right alongside Max Damaris in his battle with optic nerve glioma. Our Dom Tibbetts captured a truly special moment right outside Max's house last night, one that gives a new meaning to the phrase, Butte Tough. Author and poet Erica Jong once said, everyone has talent. What's rare is the courage to follow it to the dark places where it leads. Max Damaris's ongoing battle with optic nerve glioma has brought him into many dark places. But Max's God-given and undeniable talent is his ability to radiate light that pierces the dark. Even when faced with another decision no 16-year-old kid should ever have to make, he found the courage. Well, it was just a tough decision because, you know, no 16-year-old wants to go through this, but I'm just, I just had that decision. Would I rather want to have surgery my senior year or just get it all done with now? And I just want to get it all done and over with and go back to being a normal high schooler and just having fun. Max's surgery on Monday will remove his right eye, ultimately closing the chapter on this journey, which will allow him to finally have a life every teenager deserves. But before he and his family hit the road for Salt Lake City, his Bulldog family had to make sure he got a proper send off. Hundreds, and I mean hundreds of cars, made their way past the Damaris household to give Max a big show of support. And from day one of this battle, Max has not shed a tear. But that all changed Friday night. This was the first time that I've actually teared up throughout this whole two, two years. If you ask his mom, Melissa, his dad, Brian, or siblings, Bo and Miley, Max has been the rock and the glue holding everything together. But if you ask Max what keeps him going, what keeps him able to push through every obstacle in his way? It's his family, his friends, and the Butte community. I wouldn't be able to do it without all them. Everybody asks, how, how do you do it? How do you stay so positive? It's, it's, those are the people that really keep me positive. It's fair to assume anybody else would be nervous heading into the kind of operation Max will undergo. But for him, it becomes the first time he can start to think of what his new outlook on life will hold. I'm so glad this is probably, hopefully, going to be the end, and it just, just makes me so happy that it's all going to be over with, and yeah. After awakening from anesthesia after a surgery in early December, Max Damaris once uttered the words, Bryce Sterk is the real 3-7. What will he say after Monday surgery? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. In Butte, Dom Tibbetts, MTN Sports. Wait and see we will, and I'm sure we will hear good news. And we'll update you as soon as we can on Max's progress following surgery on Monday. Until then, Max, know we are all in your corner, and keep being Max Strong.